All right, I want to have a talk about something that might be unique, may not pertain to you directly, but it may pertain to somebody you know, or maybe you are the person I'm talking about. Um, I have now had several female clients who have gone through either the egg retrieval process to store eggs for the future, or have gone through IVF. And what that process involves for the female is injections of hormones. And the reason I wanna talk about this is because if you are on your own weight loss journey and you are going through one of those two processes, a lot of feelings <laughs> come up during those injection weeks for all of my coaching clients and some handle it differently than others and some have different reactions to those injections. So let's just start with one thought. Your body naturally produces hormones. It naturally regulates itself. It has a way of doing things, right? So even during your menstrual week or leading up to it, you may notice weight fluctuations, mood changes, things like that, but you've kind of become used to those. Those are your normal. When you inject additional hormones into your body that are potentially a different potency than you're used to, or at a time that your body is not accustomed to having them, you may get a more extreme reaction. So you're doing your life, everything's going great, you're losing weight, you're tracking, you're working out, all things seem good, and you decide to do this process, but maybe you don't really know what that looks like on the other side. So you wake up the next day after your first set of injections, and you are like, holy crud, I'm up five pounds. Is this possible? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, every one of my clients who has gone through this process, I will say on the low end, two to three pounds, on the high end, five to six pounds, and it literally comes on overnight. Now, if you're watching this video and you have no intention of doing this, and you don't know anybody who's doing this, you could in theory say, oh, well, this doesn't pertain to me, but here's the one thing that does. Think about something. Hormones that are injected into your skin, no diet change, no nothing, can cause that kind of weight gain. What does that tell you about the scale? Think about it. Your body is mostly comprised of fluids. If you do something out of the ordinary, or in this case, inject some hormones, for your body to gain that much weight overnight, quite literally overnight, is that really fat, you know, is that really fat tissue? Is that something to get freaked out about? No. But will it mess with your head? Sure thing it will. <laughs> so those of you who get really upset because you step on the scale one day and you're up a couple pounds, keep in mind that water fluctuations happening for you too, even if you're not going through this process. That was a side note. So two pounds on the low end, probably five to six on the high end, and it literally does come on overnight. It, it, my client went one day, she was at 138 point something, stepped on the scale the next day, she was like 141. It was like, boom, and she was very upset. And I've had clients who've done this process multiple times, because usually you don't just do it once, you do it multiple times. Each time is a little bit different. So you want to keep in mind that while there may be some standard things that happen that are true for you, each time you do the process, it might be different how the weight comes on, how the weight goes away. Um, a lot of my clients, once they go through the first cycle, they prefer to stay off the scale for the subsequent cycles that they do because it's just emotionally hard. Now, that's the water fluctuation weight thing. Also, just want to throw this out as a coach, there's a lot of feelings that come up in that week. I've had clients who go from being gung-ho, they're excited to go to the gym, they're excited to eat healthfully, they're feeling really positive, to really hitting the bottom of the barrel with how they feel. Uh, their, their, their exercise energy is extremely low. Um, they tend to feel very sad, sometimes depressed, uh, feeling almost like they don't want to have any goals or anything to focus on. What I want to encourage you as a coach in that moment, when you know you're going through that process, take everything you think and feel with a grain of salt. Journal it and then give yourself a week or two after the hormone injection cease read back over your notes so if you went from a place of this is my goal and then during the week of injection you're like oh, i don't want to do this anymore it feels too difficult whatever write it all down come back to it a week later 
see if you still feel that way. Don't make decisions during that time period. That would be one of the worst things you could do because again, you're having a abnormal thing done to your body that your body's not used to and the responses you might get both physically and mentally and emotionally may not be what you're used to. So just want to encourage you, journal it, come back to it a week or so later. Then what you may also want to do, if you're going to have several cycles of these injections, you may want to create a different protocol for that time period. For example, um, I'm talking to my client and she's been defaulting to eating certain things at night. And I said, why don't we just plan the next time you do this to go get a Starbucks brownie, get out of the house, go have something intentionally, lower the bar on exercise, maybe make that a non-gym day because she didn't have the energy to do it. Make that a, a week of just walking, right? Because she liked walking during that week. And we, we switch up what you're doing. Similar to having your cycle week, but because it's you're going, you're doing it on your own, you know it's coming, you can prepare for it. So once you have the first one under your belt, really think through how could I make the next ones better for myself? Maybe switch to maintenance calories, maybe plan in certain treats, maybe plan in certain activities, maybe lay off certain types of workouts. Really be thoughtful about that, okay? So I know I'm not talking about a broad grouping here, but I do want to make sure that we understand how much the weight or body weight can fluctuate due to hormones, whether they're injected or not, but in this case, even more so. Once the weight shoots up, because I know you're probably wondering this, once you stop, usually it starts to trickle down a couple days after you stop injections. Um, it, it, one female client I had, it didn't really go away until she had her menstrual cycle after the injection series which was not right away it was like a couple weeks later so it actually hung around a lot longer than the first time and that's what i mean by each cycle could be different so i just want to help people because i know this stuff is hard right it's hard to make these decisions it's hard to spend the money on doing these things and then when you get them done you're you're kind of excited until you see how it might affect you both physically and mentally. So I just want to kind of have this discussion with you so you're better prepared. And so maybe you can have a little bit of a different perspective going into it. So you're more gentle, kind, and compassionate with yourself. And you're not shocked when the scale jumps up four or five pounds the next day, when you might feel very emotional, when you might feel like working out is not sounding like a good idea, when eating your normal foods doesn't feel like what you want to do. All of that is kind of normal. And really it's about getting through that week, journaling it, and then making a better plan if you're gonna do it again, and really assessing not to make any decisions on what you wanna do for yourself during that time period. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe. Let me know how I can better help you. And please share these videos with other people. I'm here to help. I'll talk to you soon.